First question from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, uh, what did you see from Walker Buehler? What, what went wrong today? Well, you know, I, I think that, number one, uh, getting him built up, I think, was the most important thing. We did that. Um, I, I thought a little bit he was bullish with the fastball. Um, and then, secondly, there were some balls that were hit out of the ballpark that were fly balls. You know, wind was carrying out to right center field. A couple balls hit well. Um, but I think, most importantly, we're not counting stats here. We're just trying to get him built up, and we accomplished that. How did his fastball look? You mentioned he's bullish with it. How did it look? No, it was good. The fastball was good, had the life. Um, I, I think that, uh, you know, he could have sequenced a little differently. But uh, today, obviously, him and Austin were uh, on the attack with the fastball. Those guys were on the gas today. And, um, you know, that's what happens. But um, obviously, in a, in a regular season game, you're going to sequence differently. So uh, Walker's fine. How did David Price do in his big game? He uh, got through four innings near uh, 60 pitches, something like that. Um you know, pitch well, everything, 91, 93, the changeup, breaking ball, um, all that stuff was good. So he came out of it uh, positive as well. You mentioned it was 91 and 93. Earlier you said he had been 89 and 91. Um, you expect him to be 91 and 93? I, I think so. You know, and again, with David, we're still trying to learn, you know, what we have as far as taking a year off. But expect that, you know, he should – he's always kind of – you know, the last couple of years he's pitched right around there, so I would expect uh, the same for him in 21. Does that play up if he's, out of, if he's a reliever, if he's out of the bullpen? You know, uh, I, I don't know yet. I, I think that, you know, 18, we had that sample, and it did, but that's 18, so I don't know yet. Um, but I do know that um, his command, the cutter, the curveball, the change, make everything play up, too. Thank you. Yep. Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead. Dave, with Walker, does he just stay in line when he goes Sunday in the freeway series? Yeah, Walker should, you know, we're, we're kind of trying to figure out if it's going to be Sunday or Monday. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of play it by and let Mark uh, and Walker figure it out. Is he still like uh, in that final outing in, in like stretch out mode or you, you still, uh, is that still to be determined? Uh, it, it's still to be determined and that'll kind of be contingent on if it's Sunday or Monday, how he's feeling, all that. Where does where does uh, Gonsolin slot slot in and all this? Um, given where like he is on the just the schedule. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, all I know is that you know Tony is still building up. I think the next time it's a five or six inning exercise. So I'm not sure what day he's still no Eric. It might have to be like a B game if he if he happens to go on the same day as like Kershaw or Bueller. I That's mean, or, uh, Bueller, yeah. That's correct. Okay, thanks, Dave. Thanks, Eric. Next question is from Bill. Go ahead, Bill. Just real quick, Dave, uh, the B game for Julio and Nelson tomorrow. Do you know yeah. who that's against or where? Is it the Brewers? I'm not sure. Oh, shoot. Bill, I think it's, I think it's uh, the Brewers, and I think it's at our place. Close enough. Thanks. And it's at, uh, uh, it's at 11 o'clock. I do know that. Okay. The uh, we, we talked about Bueller this spring and how he had – he had a different off season, came in, you know, ready to ramp up sooner than in the past. Have you gotten the kind of spring you expected from that? He's looked a little unsettled after a couple of his outings. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we have. Cause I think that if you look at uh, those last couple seasons, he was late uh, as far as starting the season. So I think that where we're at right now uh, with the buildup and again, um, he could have, I, in my opinion, he could have sequenced different. He would have been fine. I thought the breaking ball was sharp, the curveball. Um, I thought the cutter was good. Um, he just, you know, decided to use his fastball a lot today. So I think we certainly got what we expected or what we had hoped out of it. Not to focus too much on velocity, but it, it doesn't seem to be all the way there with him yet. Is Again, is that just the difference between Cactus League and regular yeah. season? I, I think so. I, I think with Walker um, – there, there's the the sevens and eights. There, they'll be in there, and I think that just comes with adrenaline. And when when Peter, we talked about hit your rotation during the off season, we always talked about the three Cy Young winners. And a lot of times there'd be an addition that you know Walker Bueller is going to win one someday. Does he have that kind of ability in him? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that if uh, you know his body of work, especially. 
uh, in the postseason. Uh, I, I think that's something of, of a track record. And uh, Walker's time uh, will come as far as individual. But, uh, you know, right now he's just focused on making starts and, and helping us win games and uh, pitching well in big games, which he's always done for us. Yeah, it's easy to po point to the, the postseason and the big game performance with him and the results. But uh, can, a, can a guy carry that over a full season? Um, I, I think if, if there's a guy that I could bet on doing that, uh, Walker would certainly be in that conversation. Thank you, Dave.